If you go to any modern airport today, there's a train without people in it that operates it. No conductors, nobody. It stops exactly there. And you can't fall on the tracks. In New York you can. You can be shoved right onto the tracks. They say, we don't know whether he jumped or was pushed. They need a wall, just like an elevator. You can look down and see if the elevator is coming. They got a wall there that doesn't open until the elevator's there. That's the way the airport works. I talked about that 65 years ago in New York. Couldn't get any action. Nothing. To build a wall so you don't fall on the track. A baby stroller rolls off the edge of a train platform in Australia. Moments later, a train rolls into the station. The stroller is pushed some 131 feet along the tracks. When in the U.S. was incredibly lucky when she fell onto the rails in Boston subway. The woman was apparently trying to stub out a cigarette when she lost balance and tumbled onto the tracks right in front of the train. Frantic commuters started waving and shouting and luckily managed to attract the driver's attention. And frightened but unhurt, the lady was then helped out from the tracks. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone, please keep moving. Please keep moving. We have a lot of people on the platform. Got to get them off. Keep moving. Uh, yes, there will be as soon as these trains get moving again. We must put our mind to the social problem. We wish to get away from politics. We wish to get away from the old world method of solving problems. If you can barely understand what it is I'm trying to say in this short period of time, please investigate sociocybernetics. Are you saying that... My name is Jock Fresco. I'm project director of the Venus Project in Venus, Florida. The Venus Project maintains if you don't want war, if you don't want poverty, hunger, unemployment, territorial disputes, and all the other problems that go with society, you have to declare the Earth as the common heritage of all the world's people. If you fail to do that, you'll have problems to the amount of events you don't want to change. If we don't change, we'll have the same problems over and over again. The Venus Project is an attempt to design a world where poverty, war, prisons, police do not exist. Because we deal with the problems themselves, the factors that shape arrogant behavior, aggression, uh, all the things that paralyze our society paralyze our society, pa paralyze our society, and prevent it from growing.